Welcome to our third Pure Competition Blackboard discussion. This particular time, we're going to be discussing, once again, the market where we have demand and supply in a particular market and price and quantity. And we're going to look at this particular company in that market where we have price and quantity. Only this time, we're going to figure out how this company actually makes a profit and what that profit's going to be. You'll remember that for us, the economic profit that this company is going to make is equal to its total revenue minus its total cost. So these are the things we're going to try to chart out over here. Its total revenue and its total cost. Now let's think about its total cost first. We can't use the marginal cost line because but we can think of the total cost being calculated from what is the average total cost line. Let's draw that in. Here's the average total cost line. What's the cost of producing 10 units? Well, what you do is you say, hmm, 10 units. This costs, on average, per unit, this amount here. Let's go over here and see how much that is. That looks like about $3.20. So to produce 10 units, on average, it's $3.20 per unit. What's the total cost of producing 10 units? You go up to the average total cost line, find out how much, and it's this area right there. See how that works? So it's the quantity times the average total cost. Let's come over here and say, how much does it cost to produce 20 units? Well, you find out by, boom, hitting the average total cost line. Looks like that's about $3. And you multiply the quantity times the price. And it's this big rectangle here. So to find out total cost, you have to use the average total cost line, not the marginal cost line. Let's try that again with a new drawing. We'll blow this up so we're working just with the company now. Just with one company. We won't have the market in there yet because we don't need it quite now. If we do this again, we can draw the average total cost line. It kind of swoops up like that. And then we can also draw the um, marginal cost line. And we learned last week that the marginal cost line does that kind of swoop and it actually hits the average total cost line at its minimum here, right there. Now, let's figure out how much this costs to produce a certain unit. Let's say we're going to produce this much stuff. Let's call that 25. How much does that cost? Well, if you look at this, you come up and you find out what the 25th unit cost to make. That's what this is telling us, the marginal cost. But to find the total cost, you have to go all the way up here to the average total cost line over to find this number here. Let's call that $3.50. And then back down to the how 25 units cost $3.50 each. And it's this rectangle here that gives us an idea of the total cost. It actually is representing the total cost right there. That's how you find the total cost. That gives us the first chunk of information to find out our profits. We have total revenue minus total cost, right? So we have total cost sorted out in this diagram by looking at the average total cost line. OK, let's complicate this one more time here. And we're going to add in everything now. We're going to add in the costs. We're going to add in the revenues. Let's have our particular firm in this nice pink here. Here we go. Quantity, price, company A. We're going to try to find out the total profits. Well, to do that, we have to find out what the total costs are. We're going to do that by looking at the average total cost line. We'll put that like that. Average total cost line. And we also want to find out what the revenue is. If we're going to find out the revenue, we're going to do that by looking at something else. As a matter of fact, let's look at the 
marginal revenue line. Let's make that a nice straight line like this. Now I'm drawing this in a particular way. Marginal revenue. If we produce this amount of stuff, let's see, um, let's produce, oh, I don't know, this amount here, we'll say 15 units. What is the cost? What is the total cost? Remember, in the back of our mind, profits equal total revenue minus total cost. What is the total cost? Well, if we go up from 15 here and we say, well, 15 units, the average cost is up here at about $3.80. So the total cost is this, this big rectangle here. That's our total cost. Check. We've done that. How about our revenues? Well, we can figure out our revenues because if the marginal revenue is $3, we could say, well, that means for every one of these units we're producing, we're getting $3. So 15 times 3, this is our revenues here. So we have a total cost that is this big rectangle, total revenues, which is this smaller one. So we end up with what? Well, we end up with something going on here. We end up with this difference right in here. What is it that's going on here? We have total costs. We have figured out our total revenue and now we have this dip. Looks like cost is more than our revenue and this rectangle represents a loss of some kind. The cost is greater than the revenue. So our profits end up being a loss in this particular model. Um, let's try one more here. This time we're going to draw it, and we're going to draw the same kind of company, and we're going to figure it out. Let's make it a kind of purple company this time, all right? Price, quantity, quantity, price, company, A. Again, we're looking for profits, and that equals our total revenue minus total cost. And we're going to use this particular diagram to find it out. Let's say our marginal revenue is this straight line here and that's three dollars that gives us how much money we're gonna make if we sell a certain quantity right now what about our costs well our costs are different our costs are gonna be determined or we're gonna look for our total cost by using the average total cost line here only this time we're gonna produce more we're gonna produce twenty five units here. Now let's see what's going on here. Um, well, if we produce 25 units, we come up here, we find out how much it costs way up here to produce 25 units. What's our revenue? Way down here. And once again, we have cost way up here and revenue, total revenue is this rectangle way down here. Costs are bigger. So once again, what are we doing? We are suffering a loss. So again, our profits are losses. This is not going well, is it, for this particular company? Let's try one more time now. Let's try drawing this diagram now one more time and see what we can do. So at some point here, the key is to have our costs below our revenues. Wouldn't that be useful if our costs were below our revenues then for sure we're going to make a profit. Let's see what happens in that instance. What if we produce this much here? How much are our costs? Come up here. Let's say this is uh, 18. Come up here. We're producing 18 now. What is that going to get us? Well, the cost is down here somewhere. Let's say that's $2.80. And what's our revenue? Up here, $3.00. So what is this? Our cost is down here, this big rectangle here, and our revenue is way up here. So we end up with that difference, and that difference, aha, profits. So if you think of this again, profits equals total revenue minus total cost. In this instance, when cost is below revenue, we end up with profits. That's the key. That's what we're going to be looking at again in pure competition number four. We're going to model this profit and loss situation a couple times. You're going to get more comfortable with it. I'll see you then.